In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to make an awesome team website with TurboStats for football. First thing you want to do is make sure you have version 11.1G or higher. You can click the Web Support Updates button and download the latest update. Then you want to open up your existing team or create a new team. And make sure you have your names and numbers in place. You can set the team color by clicking on the color box and using the pick list. Okay, you can add photos by clicking the Add Crop Photo button and just move around anywhere on the image. You could ma maximize it or make it smaller. And then just hit the Crop button when you like the photo. It will ask you if you want to upload it to the team website as long as you have copyright permission on this and approval if it's a minor. Uh, you have to comply with all the Copeland laws, the federal Copeland laws for photos and names for minors. So make sure that you're in compliance and you have approvals and you just hit yes to upload this to the team website it'll show you the name of the photo here and you can hit view to make sure that it's up there correctly if you want to make sure any photos are erased you should email us and let us know uh, to take off the photos for you if you want to take a photo down that's up on the website you could turn the photos on and off uh, by clicking on the team website option here and going into the settings see if you're going to be using the default settings or a league settings you'll see that this box is not appearing here if you have a team settings you want to customize this based on this particular team you could choose these option or if you're the league administrator and you're going to set up the league wide defaults you could choose that option and then you want to pick the league you're in if you're using uh, the TurboStats uh, League Planner Pro software to create your schedule. You can click search sites and it'll show you all the schedules you have on your website and you can click select. And now I'm going to set up the default for every team that's in this particular schedule. And I want the opponent hyperlinks to be on so it shows the images of the team logos at the top and I can click on them and go to any other site. I want to Make sure I have player photos on it set to JPEG. That's what they'll be when we upload them. And the, the logos for the teams, we could have a JPEG or a PNG. So if I want to add the helmet logo for this team, I hit Add Logo. And I could pick the logo here. Hit OK. OK, it's going to set that up for you. And it's going to set up for in the game casting to use that logo. And so now we're all ready to upload the logo, but we might want to do some other customization first. If there's a link to an external site, if you want to add the name of the site, it'll put it on the button up here. Make sure that button is pushed down. These are the menus. You see them at the top here. Okay, the event site is going to take you back to this football 2020 event so that you could see the schedule and the leaderboard for the whole league if you're using League Planner Pro. If you're just using this for an individual team, you can turn that off. Okay, now let me get a link here. I'll just bring a link in from the web. Just copy the whole line there. Copy. Go back into your website and paste it into this link one. And you have one other link you could use as well here. If I want to set up a home page, where I could have a certain photo, I could put a Twitter feed on here and embed it. Make sure you push that down if you want to embed a Twitter on all these sites. Uh, you could have a Facebook page here. You could add photos. You could have a video that you want linked to the site. You could also set the background, whether it's like a white color. And if you change this background transparency, it'll turn more and more gray and finally over to black. So. If you set this for the background image color, uh, you'll have a nice gray color around 30. Okay, so now if you want to do photos, just click Add Photo. And you can go onto your computer here and pick any photo you want. You can pick a photo from a thumb drive. And I had a nice team photo here. This photo will be uh, thinner than this online. It doesn't scale it properly when you bring it into this. But when it's posted, it'll be fine. You can pick the photo height on the website. If you want to keep it smaller, you can add a caption. Okay, you could add a second photo. And you can also turn on and off your social media buttons that are on the page. And when you're ready, you just go back here 
and I added the logo okay click on the add logo and you can pick whatever helmet kind of logo you want and it's all ready to go just hit post website it's going to flash it makes a copy of your photo to reduce the resolution of it so it loads fast on mobile devices and now it's processing any data you had any game data is going to process and it's going to upload now you're done that team's up on the web and if you click view you'll get to that website okay here's the site name you get your helmet photo and here is your custom link okay here's that photo we made for the team and we have the team leaders here now I'm going to show you how to change the team leaders settings if you total yards rushing average yards per rush let's say I want to turn any of these off or add leaders for special teams as well here's your links if you put different helmets up here in your program you would see those different images if there's no images for the opponent it's just going to put an initial for the first letter of the opponent team, opposing team's name if you come into the stats screen here you'll see your player stats and right now I have offense defense and kicking returns turned on and you can control the order of these stats as well so let me go back into the program and show you how you do that so you go into the team website if you want to turn the statistics on and off you want to see click set statistics and go into offense and you can turn the different stats on if you don't want to see average carries per game you can turn that off okay so you can go into all the stats and turn anything you want on your report now this is report one which is going to be our main stat report okay if we want to add let's just say we want to add kicking to that um, I'm going to go back into this report here is it set statistics and well kick return I could add kicking by clicking on that button okay and so now let's go into the team website and let's go to set leaders this will set the leaderboard stats the ones you want to repair appear normally you have far less leader stats than you would stats in your main stat report here's your filters you don't want the player to have the uh, average yards highest average yards rushing to only have one or two carries so you could set how many rushing attempts you have to have to qualify to be a leader same thing with receptions and passes and minutes played per game and how many games that they played you could set all these cutoffs uh, on your filters you can set how many leaders that you want to show um, on your league site for doing leaderboard report for a league-wide report okay and if you want to have different game types if you just want the conference games however you set up your game types when you score your games you could filter them out I'm going to choose all if I want to set the leader stats I'm going to come in here and notice that the report is set to leaders so I can go into offensive and I could say hey I want to see average carries as well and I could turn any of these leader categories on right now for the reports for leaders I'm only showing offensive and defensive if I want to show kick returns I could turn that one on as well so I'm going to hit OK here and I'm going to repost the website and hit view again okay so now we have the returns kick returns as a tab here in our leader report and we have rushing attempts per game now as a leader if I go into stats you can see now I have the kicking tab available and it's going to be in the, whatever order you want to set it to to set the order you go into the stats screen in turbo stats and you can click on any stat category and just use these arrow buttons to move that stat to the left or right I put a temp before average now okay it'll ask you to make that change as permanent I can come back here and repost it make sure I have set team settings or set league settings on set league settings when I do this because otherwise those changes aren't going to affect the formatting of the page it's only going to update the data so all the other teams in the league that you're going to be uploading don't have to change this defaults they could just say use league defaults and have all the other teams have that setting when you upload them okay or if you want to make a unique 
web page style for one particular team hit set team settings and this one team will have its own unique style and you could even have its own unique Twitter feed or Facebook page as well okay so that's it that's all you need to do to make a great website on TurboStats uh, be sure to check out our League Planner Pro software to show how to make the league site with the leaderboard thank you for watching